Story selling is a term that fills me with the heebie-jeebies. It implies that we can tell a story and whoosh, like a wave of the fairy godmother's wand, we can get people to do what we want. Personally, I think that's balderdash, and I'm going to show you why. Welcome to the Everyday Storyteller, a podcast for women with something to say. I'm your host, Hilary Solzman, and yes, I'm getting a little bit excited about Christmas. A few weeks ago, we put up our tree. We bought it from the same farm, we always do. Played Rod Stewart's Christmas album, as we always do. Had a sherry or two, you guessed it, as we always do. And waited until all the decorations were up on the tree to turn on the lights. Every year, it's the same. We're nothing if not consistent. Is it boring? No, not at all. Is it an experience we can all look forward to because we know just how comfortable it makes us feel? That's a blimmin' lootly. Would we all feel the same excited expectations if we didn't have a clue where we were going to get the tree from? If someone picked Beethoven Fifth to listen to and poured sangria? And in fact, when we unpacked everything, we realised we'd brought a sunflower rather than a lovely Douglas fir? Probably not. And why? Because there's no consistency. We wouldn't know what to expect. It could be better, but it also could be a lot worse. And this would make us feel uncomfortable. Storytelling is something you have to feel as well as do. It is not a quick fix, nor is it something you can always expect immediate returns from. You need to believe and trust in the process and build it into your every day, making it a consistent part of the experience you provide your audience. If, for example, every case study you share is written as a creative story where your customer is positioned as a hero, your audience will know to look out for them and take pleasure in the familiar, tapping into our subconscious desire to have a strong grip on what's going on around us. Just like unwrapping a Christmas gift, stories can surprise and delight, but not if they only happen once in a blue moon. Whether you're telling your personal brand story or sharing stories of how you've helped others, try and be consistent in the way you do it. Using a template which you can personalise with each story can really help this. There's a link in the show notes to a couple of options I have on offer. And finally, a little challenge for the coming week. If you're needing some downtime from the festivities, set yourself a goal to post a story consistently for the next month. How often and when you do it is totally up to you, but it needs to be consistent. And then start to list out all the different elements of your story and the other stories you can tell. And before you know it, you'll have a story-led content plan for January. Give it a try. See what response you get. Then keep it up. The more you do, the easier it will get. Thanks.